What's up guys, it's John. So today I'm going to be giving you some good settings for the new OBS, OBS multi-platform. If you don't have it already, then you could download it on the OBS website and uh, I'll put a link in the description to the website. One of the things that's better about this version of OBS is you can split audio streams, which is uh, was a huge thing that people wanted with the original OBS. So that's a thing now, as you can see, audio track went into, and uh, it makes video editing a lot easier. So for the settings, to so go to output, and then you need to be in advanced output mode and in recording. And then just choose standard MP4, however many audio tracks you want. Um, X264 encoder 1080p, or whatever resolution you're going to be recording in. Bitrate 1000, custom buffer size check, make it zero, make this zero. And then CRF is going to be the quality of the video. So the lower the number, the less compressed, and the higher the quality. The higher the number, the more compressed and less quality. And if you put really high compression, then it's going to take uh, a bigger toll on your computer's performance. So keep that in mind when you're choosing a number. Um, and then the CPU usage. Um, I leave it at very fast. Then we can go to audio, and I have um, 160 kilobits per second for both audio streams. And then under audio, I use 44.1 kilohertz. And then stereo channels. <clears throat> and then in video, I have direct 3D11, 1080p, 1080p bipubic filtering, 60 FPS, and then I leave these all default. And then to use the two audio streams, if you don't know how, you go to Mixer, and then you select um, the track you want the audio to go to. So you can have up to four audio tracks. And I put my mic audio on the second track and my desktop audio on the first track. And I down mix my mic to mono, that's why it you can't tell like where I am around the mic like I'm on the right side of the mic right now I'm on the left side of the mic but it just sounds like I'm in the middle so now I'll show you the quality let me open Minecraft um, so here we go and this actually doesn't hurt your performance too much when you're playing the game I thought it was going to be a lot worse because I, I was used to using quick sync on the old OBS which has like no impact on performance whatsoever and then <clears throat> going to x264 I expected a performance drop but there's not really any performance drop any noticeable performance drop at least so my FPS is around 90 90 to 100 and the quality is good obviously if you look around I'll run over here. Good quality. I think we can agree. And uh, yeah, if this video helps you, leave a thumbs up. If it didn't help you, then leave a thumbs down. Or if you just don't like seeing my face, then leave a thumbs down. Um, but I'll see you guys next time. And All right. Just keep in mind, the end of the video cuts off like five seconds before you end it. So. Wait five seconds before you click stop recording. All right, I did it again. Goodbye, and now I'm gonna wait five seconds.